In this section, we will introduce our heart modeling and implementation for closed-loop evaluation of pacemaker software. The coordinated heart contraction are governed by the electrical conduction system of the heart. When a heart muscle is activated by external electrical impulse, the muscle will contract. The electrical voltage outside the muscle changes over time, which is referred to as the action potential. When the voltage reaches a threshold after a certain delay, the muscles nearby are also activated. This activation chain continues throughout the heart, causing the heart muscle contract with certain patterns. After a heart muscle is activated, it requires some time to recover from the last activation. This time period is called refractory period, which can be divided into ERP and IRP which have different behaviors. As we can see from the previous slides, the behaviors of the heart, at least from the pacemaker point of view, are purely timing relations between activations of different parts of the heart. We use time automata as formalism to model these behaviors. It supports non-determinism, which can be used to represent uncertainty in patient conditions. The reachability of the time automata is also decidable, allowing us to explore the whole closed-loop state space of the heart and the pacemaker. Time automata is able to model most of the timing behavior of the heart and the pacemaker, and its semantics is a subset of state flow semantics, which makes it easy to translate the model into state flow. First, we introduced the series of non-deterministic heart models we developed in order to cover different heart conditions during verification. During verification, the heart model should balance between coverage and expressiveness. By coverage, the heart model should be able to cover all possible heart conditions specified by the corresponding requirements and generate corresponding pacemaker inputs. By expressiveness, the heart model should have the complexity to represent specific heart conditions which may not possible for a simpler model. As we can see, these two properties are on the opposite end of a spectrum. More complexity leads to more constraints, which eventually leads to less coverage and more expressiveness. The balance between coverage and expressiveness cannot be achieved by a single heart model. So we developed a series of heart models which abstract the behaviors of the heart. We start from tissue modeling and keep abstracting its behaviors. As a result, each level abstraction covers all the behaviors of the heart model at previous level, which is also referred to as the time simulation relation. During verification, we pick the most appropriate heart model which balances between the coverage and the expressiveness depending on the safety requirements. The electrical conduction system of the heart is then modeled using a set of time automata. We abstract the refractory property of the heart tissue using node automata and the conduction delays between nodes using pass automata. At the most abstract level, we have the simplest heart model which covers all possible inputs to the pacemaker, including physiological possible and impossible ones. We can increase the complexity of the automata and the spatial fidelity in order to represent the heart condition specified in corresponding safety requirements. With appropriate heart autonomy, we can even construct a 3D heart model with highest spatial fidelity and pinpoint a very specific heart condition. The use of these non-deterministic heart models are covered in the verification section. Now we introduce our deterministic heart models which can be used for closed-loop simulation and testing of the pacemaker. In a deterministic heart model, we replace the non-deterministic ranges in node and pass automata with linear interpolations. As can be seen from the stu case study below, the lines of the ERP and the conduction delay increase when the heart is beating very fast. In order to interact with a pacemaker, we developed a probe model which mimics the behavior of pacemaker leads placed inside the heart. In the figure, we have two nodes and a pass automata, as well as two probes. When the activation waveform moves from node 1 to node 2, the probe will sense the electrical activities. The amplitude of the signal is determined by the distance to the activation wavefront. These probe models can be placed anywhere within the heart which enable us to model pacemaker malfunctions like crosstalk and lead displacement. 
We also develop a MATLAB GUI which enables the user to do hard models construction and simulation. We were able to configure our heart model into different heart conditions and a physician validates them by interacting with them like interacting with a real heart. Here are some examples of possible heart conditions that our heart model is able to represent. We also implemented our heart model onto hardware using Simulink HDL coder. With an analog interface, the heart model implementation is able to interact with a real pacemaker. Demonstrations of the platform is shown in the case study section.